me a, a little history of um, uh, Lagos State University. No, this is not Lagos State oh, University. Oh, sorry. There's Lagos State University that yeah. belongs to the state. Okay. And there's University of Lagos. This is okay. federal. Okay. You understand? So, so this is Unilag, right? Difference. This is Unilag. Okay, okay, okay. The, okay, tell me Lagos something State about Unilag. This is Unilag. Okay. So, um, really don't know what much to tell you, but since they have a good history, uh, the school has been in existence for a long time. Mm -hmm. The facilities are not bad. Mm -hmm. And then, um, <laughs> what else can I tell you? Yeah. I mean, power here is, is not power outside. It's almost 24 hours power inside here. Mm. The school generates their own power. So, I mean, I, 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 I've, I've lived a few days here. Is before. it a car company? Yes. Why is a car company office <laughs> to its university students? Probably not to university students, but we parents come here now and uh, people work here. They are lecturers. Wow. So, it's a prime lecturers. location? It's a prime location, yeah. So, that's, that's it. Wow. It's, it's a prime location. So, this university, for instance, services a lot of businesses in this address. Yeah, so. I see. Yeah. Do you know the number of uh, students have been in this school? I don't know the number of students, but I know there are a lot. I see. You even see banks, you see all sorts of things. Like There's a whole bank in the campus. Yeah, there are so many. I, I think probably every bank that we have in Nigeria is represented here. Wow. That means a school business is a, is a good, is a good it's, business. Yeah, it's, 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 there are supermarkets, there's one supermarket. Well, is it like a city on its own? It's like a city on its own. Mm. It's like a city on its own. But normally, like we growing up, we never thought school is like a multi million dollar organization. We don't think like that. Wow. Well, at least one student is at least spending one million dollar a year on this on this uh, school. No. Uh, no. Probably not. It's a federal school, like I said. So, so it's a scholarship. Um, it's it's even recently that they they took away the um, mm -hmm. subsidy on, on, on the, mm -hmm. the fees. Mm -hmm. It used to be highly subsidized. Mm. Bef probably now, probably now, maybe they're paying like two fifty thousand or something. And even mm -hmm. there's a lot of complaints with that. Mm -hmm. It used to be less than a hundred. I mean, le less than fifty thousand or something. Wow. I went to a private school. Yeah. My my school now the the, the school I went to mm -hmm. it's probably three million per person now. Okay. That's bad that's cost. expensive. Yeah, that's very expensive. But I mean, you are still talking about two hundred and fifty thousand or something here. Mm -hmm. So you know that it's not still not. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. So the evenings, this place is something else. It's what is it? All sort of people coming to meet girlfriends. Really? All lights, you see all sort of cars, you know. In this area? Uh, this is cool now. This is the Senate house. Wow, so guys, if you want to look for girls, come here at night. So, <laughs> a lot of people... I mean, I, I, also, I also dated a girl here. You I did? Got, before I got married, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> How was it? Um, well, I used to enjoy coming in here. Yeah. To come see her and all yeah. that. But then, I mean, other than that, yeah. the relationship itself didn't end well. It didn't so, end well. <laughs> so, but, and that's done with that. What happened? She she got a boyfriend on campus? No, not even that. No, I mean... Don't, you want to get into it? That's, that's the terrible story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, when people see you as a meal ticket, so... Ah, really? Exactly. So that he was using you? Ah, yeah, sure. fine girls, so... There are so many fine girls. Ah. That's why I was complaining. I'm like, where are the fine girls in the in this country? Don't know me they're in college. <laughs> apart, from, <laughs> apart from this one, like, one night. Yeah. For your money, look, don't feel shy now. It's your past. Let's just say it's your past, it's your past now. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 it's not a, like yeah. mean, the relationship lasted for like a year or something. Yeah, but, um, 
she wasn't a student by the time I was dating her. She finished. She had finished here. Okay. But then she was still living in here. In the hostel. Yeah, she was still living. No, not in the hostel. There's um, there's some quarters there. Mm -hmm. Her aunt was a lecturer, so mm -hmm. she was living in the quarters. Mm -hmm. So I see. Yeah. So I used to come here. So wow. and I became. So. Wow, interesting. Were you at one point hoping like you guys would get married or something? Yeah, I actually engaged her. You engaged her? Yeah, bought her a ring. You bought her a ring? Yeah, sure. She bought her a ring, yo. She I, bought actually, her a ring, I actually yo. got engaged three times before I got married. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. What happened? Oh. <laughs> I love stories, bro. Now I'm, I'm curious. Times, hey. times before I got married. Uh, uh, what happened? Well, it was at the third time anyway that I got married. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah so I'm so I bought rings. If you bought, was it a real diamond? Gold, definitely. Gold. Yeah. Wow. I'm not wow. sure. No, not diamond. But, uh, so some some girl out there right now is having your gold ring. So <laughs> you never return them. <laughs> no. Women, why do you do this? Uh, this is unfair. So how did you break up? Like how did the two? Uh, engagement collapse. It just didn't work. So it didn't just, work. Just didn't work. You don't want to get into it. I get it. Uh, but then yeah. when it was my wife, I didn't give her an engagement ring. To, yeah. We did the, the wedding. registry. Yeah. Then I took her to Dubai and bought her rings. You took her to Dubai. Yeah. That's big man talk. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let me just make sure this one is there. Yeah. After, after <laughs> you're done, then, you know, yeah. I'm sure I never did. Wow. No, no. It was, it was, that was before the registry. Anyway. Really? Yeah, I'd send the parents. Everything was wedding plans. Were already, yeah. So, yeah. That's interesting. Spent like five days. Wow. I had to choose my ring. Wow. That's amazing. I really want to get married. Do you think I have hope? Oh, why not? The girls out there is finished, yo. <laughs> Come on, look. No matter how bad the situation, yeah. there's still that person that is also looking for someone serious. Really, that's, that's true. true. So I have to psych my mind that there's good girls out yeah, there, so I can make, attract them. Exactly. Just make up your mind. Mm. You want, you are ready. Yeah. And then you find the right person. I like that. If you have a marriage advice for me, what would that advice be? Marriage takes two people. <laughs> Matured, matured mentality. minds mm -hmm. and sane heads mm -hmm. to make it work. I see. So, I mean, <laughs> just look for somebody <laughs> who is ready to work at it like you. Somebody who is like willing to fix things and exactly, not necessarily be like, exactly, okay. Look, and then again, the first five years of marriage mm -hmm. is like the teething period. So, no matter how much you guys love each other before you yeah. decided to get married. Mm -hmm. You will be tested. I see. At those five years. Mm. But those five years, you will be tested. What is like the testing phase? What is like? Is it going to be like fighting over what? To be rough. Rough. Yeah, as in it's majorly not just understanding each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 you know when you feel like, I mean, mm -hmm. I was sure about this person. Man. Yeah. But then. You were not sure. Those things would just come up that yeah. was almost like you didn't see before, before. You know, that kind of thing. You know, in my life's case, it was yeah. It was majorly yeah. things you used to say. You know, like yeah. <laughs> you know, like women trying to yeah. voice their opinion and all that, yeah. and then maybe not being too careful about how. And then you, she says something that you can't exactly, you can't forgive that, that, that or something. That probably bruise your ego. Yeah. And you're like, hey, what kind of stuff is this? Yeah. <laughs> but then, with time, you get to understand each yeah. other. Okay, like one of the issues my wife had with me was yeah. Um, I relax while watching TV. Really? Yeah. So if I if I'm back from work, yeah. Let's say I get back from work around yeah. nine PM or ten PM or something. Yeah. And I finish eating or something. Yeah. She wants us to go to the bedroom together and all that. Yeah. And me I relax while watching TV. Oh, I see. So I want I want to unwind first, and then she'll be like, "Look, so you want to leave your nearly wedding bed yeah, to go to, to go the, focus on TV. to go to the bedroom and then while you are watching because of TV." Wow. But for me, it's a lot more than just TV. It's me trying to yeah. unwind, and, like, I unpack everything that happened. Yeah. But from her perspective, day. you're just wasting exactly time watching like TV. You're just watching TV. I see. But then she got to understand me later that. Yeah. This guy, this is how he relaxes. Yeah, exactly. You understand? As a, and as a matter of fact, yeah. she would sit with me and, and watch, watch TV. 
those programs with me as I you know see. I love movies, you know, so I see. love series. So she would watch them, try mm -hmm. to follow them, you know, with me and yeah. all that. So, wow, me, so you guys kind of bonding period. I see, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. So is it like you you guys have to compromise? One have to compromise. Oh, you have to compromise a lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> By this body, we we don't you don't like compromise. I don't like compromise. That's you have why I'm to compromise, but you can't you can't get married if you don't. Really? <laughs> if you are not ready to compromise, you will compromise a lot. Wow. Some things will not make sense to you, but you mm. just have to trust the woman's instinct sometimes. Mm. You know? is, is it a red flag for you to for a girl to ask you money during dating period? Money. Yeah. Like let's say she's a student okay. and then you love this girl, she loves you back, See, but she asks you money. Is it a red flag? There is. Well, the, the truth of the matter is that mm -hmm. um, it depends on, 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 on a couple mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. But then, really, there's no way of loving somebody without giving. You mm -hmm. yourself naturally want to give. Give some, some yeah. You know, especially mm -hmm. if you have. Mm -hmm. But then, if this person starts benchmarking you against other people because yeah. you're not giving as much as other people, yeah, then it's a red flag. Then it's, a, it's an issue. Mm -hmm. You understand? This person I was, I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, who, who lived in Vinila? Really like, yeah, used to do some things, you know, about mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like on very home, this person gave. Not like exactly that. like okay. not exactly like that. Like probably, um, mm -hmm. if okay, like let's say she plans with some people. Yeah. You know, maybe a friend sells something. Yeah. You know, maybe bags, berries, or something, yeah. and then she tells me she wants to buy that stuff. Yeah. And then she tells you she knows the person selling it. Yeah. And then she's gone, gone to connive with that person. Now. Yeah. But when he calls you, you flip the price. You know that kind of yeah. thing. It was one of those days that one of those friends yeah. called me and said, "Okay, look, this mm -hmm. is what your girl does." Mm -hmm. Because I said it was too expensive for my time. Yeah. And the girl called me back and said, "Okay, it was your girlfriend that said." Uh -huh. You understand? And I knew, I, I knew, but yeah. I just. You know, push that side that it's wow. okay. because she felt like I have that. Yeah. I just it's nothing, it's just money. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. that's how I saw it, you know. Yeah. But then, you know anyway, it just depends. I see. It just see. depends. Interesting. Wow. Marriage. Mm. This this morning they like if you if you like a girl, she wants you to treat her nice, take her to restaurants her parents have never taken her before. Just in order to validate the love you have for her. If you have the money and you don't mind, if you have the money, it's you, okay. You you are you, you can you are building houses in your village now. You don't want to be going to five star hotels. Look, like I said, oh, restaurants. If, if you don't mind, mm. if you don't mind, if it's not a problem for you, but then if it is against your mm -hmm. plans and mm -hmm. your vision or something, mm -hmm. and this person doesn't want to understand, mm -hmm. then you have an issue. I see. You understand? Mm -hmm. I like that. This has been a great conversation. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Down food drivers. This is Lagos, Nigeria, mainland. Finally, we are here. First, with this developer that I just interviewed and how he thinks, and even making me understand that properties like that are not to be underestimated. Yeah. Let's speak more on that a little bit because when we were coming, we were talking about the returns are faster. But I didn't really dive into it because one, I didn't really understand it enough to dive into it. But now that he has explained himself, what do you have to say in addition to what he said? Okay, so I didn't hear everything he said. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like I told you before, um, those are fast moving yeah. units. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Especially because of the economic situation. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. even from interviews that we have had, mm -hmm. calls we've made with people in the diaspora, mm -hmm. of, I mean, most of them are not looking to come back and mm -hmm. leave and all that. So they just want something they can invest in. Invest in. That will be making money for them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they want a couple of those. Mm -hmm. So while you are thinking of buying something in Lekki, mm -hmm. you know, buying something in VI, mm -hmm. You may think of these areas as well. They are not as expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to buy a two-bedroom in in Lekki Phase One, for instance, you probably will be spending yeah. about one fifty million. One fifty million. Okay. Yeah. So now you can buy without one fifty million. Mm -hmm. You probably can buy like six of these ones, mm -hmm. and they'll be making good returns for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I love this. I'm going to my country and, and hopefully 
do the same uh yeah but i would like to invest in nigeria as well this one i'm i'm a i'm a, I'm a, I'm a developer now but a small developer <laughs> yeah if you have advice for me on this journey then i'm, I'm about to embark on what would that advice be Start small. Start small. Okay. Learn. You can get a mentor. Mm -hmm. A start. mentor. Yeah. Okay. This guy can be my mentor now. Leverage on the person. Yusuf can be my mentor. Why not? Leverage yeah. on the person's wisdom. Mm -hmm. Make little mistakes. Mm -hmm. you know? and then scale up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It always helps. Mm -hmm. You move faster when you have a mentor. Mm -hmm. Because you are not going through the mistakes that, person that the person went through. Exactly. That's good. That's good. Business Lessons 101. Real estate development. Signing out. So, um, uh -huh. value chain, if you're talking about value chain, mm -hmm. it just shows how, you know, it's just like the, just like the word yeah. implies. If you see a chain, the chain everything yeah. is linked. linked. Like, yeah. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The ripple effect of, the domino effect rather of yeah. just pushing something. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So somebody is building a house, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. That person is going to be providing mm -hmm. um, money. Mm -hmm. I mean, ends meet for people selling mm -hmm. building sheets, mm -hmm. people selling sand, people selling cement, mm -hmm. people selling aluminium mm -hmm. sheets, mm -hmm. and people selling glass, mm -hmm. people selling paint, yeah. people selling nails, yeah. people selling all sorts of things. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. now, just because construction. Just yeah. because it's building a house. Mm -hmm. Now, all those people selling those things mm -hmm. are moving products for manufacturers that produce those things. Mm -hmm. In those manufacturing companies, there mm -hmm. are people working there. There's high demand. You because, understand? Mm -hmm. So, as as far as mm -hmm. there is construction going on, mm -hmm. so many people are feeding. I see. You understand? So I that's see. the value chain. Mm -hmm. And then that's even on the smallest level. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. people making cabinets, wood, mm -hmm. wood, woodwork mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You have people selling white goods, mm -hmm. talking about microwaves, ovens, yeah. fridges, all mm -hmm. the lights. Mm -hmm. You have people making furnitures. Mm -hmm. You have interior decorators. You mm -hmm. have architects. Mm -hmm. you have, I mean, you have surveyors. Yeah. So everything, it's, 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 a, it's mm -hmm. a crazy... It's yeah. a crazy chain. chain yeah. So just whenever somebody decides that mm -hmm. I want to construct... Yeah. It, a it, lot is happening. Yeah, it it causes a, a, a chemical a chemical reaction or like exactly. a dominoes effect. A lot is happening. Interesting. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. You I don't think we learned this in school. No. no. You don't learn this in school. <laughs> I'm not a genius. Michael, did you learn this in school? Uh, no. Hey, favor. Yo. Did they teach you this in school? Nothing of such. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We, we grew up looking at buildings. I would look at the building and I would criticize it on a lower level. Oh, this house is just old. Without actually thinking about how much money went into it and then the value chain, like you just mentioned, how many ripple effect this development cost. Interesting. I'm learning on this journey, to be honest with you. My life will not be the same after, <laughs> after going back to Ghana, after this trip. That's so interesting. <laughs>
This is amazing. I'm in the market here. Uh, Tell me about Makoko. I don't know about Makoko. You don't know anything. You're a native in Nigeria. You don't know anything. You must be ashamed. I don't come here. Have you been selling shrimps? Kilo eleven thousand. She she love her business. Kilo eleven thousand. It's been long. It's been long. She's been selling for over so many years. Is that your, your children? It's a bitch. I like where is that your children? Like that, their children. She knows how to avoid the question. Hey, all she knows is business. That's it. Hey, okay. That's all. All right, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Hello, darling. Do you want to hold one of the fish? My friend wants to Can hold this. Can you hold? Uh, I just want to see how big yeah, yeah. Ah, oh no, it's a big one. Come this way. What is this? Jesus Christ. I don't even know what it is, but it's big. Wow. Should I kiss it? Yeah, kiss. No, no, no. no. <laughs> wow. That's a nice video. My hand's going to smell like fish for the next three days. That's good. Yeah. At least when you're in a plane going back to Ghana, you're like, ah, no, no. no. I was here in Nigeria. <laughs> Did you buy did you buy anything yet? Shrimps, okay. Daddy. Hello mommy, how are you? How is your day? What what kind of fish is this? Catfish. Is it salty? Salted? Do you want to buy some? Ooh, how much? How much? I haven't had, I haven't had catfish in years. You get some nice fried catfish. I'll make this myself. Stop playing with it. But you can't put this on a the flight. They will, they will take it. I would have to skin it and all that though. I, I don't know how to do that. I'm, I can cook it, but I don't know how to do all the skinning and like taking out bones and all that. They can do it for you so that it's easier. Mm -hmm, but you will pay. Mm -hmm. You will pay it. Oh my god, what is this? Is this not electric fish? No, this is catfish. This is electric fish, my friend. No, 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 it's not electric. This is electric, right? No, 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 no. They have these. And, um, this what? Uh, Pedro Asa. Touch it. Oh, oh, my oh, wow. God. Wow. wow. Michael, can you try to pick it? Sure, sure, sure. Can my friend try? Oh my God! Wow! Jesus Christ! Wow! Can I hold it? It's dangerous. Michael, do it. You just said it's dangerous, and you tell me to do it. It's a trifle. Boy, how are you? Uh -huh. oh, hello, 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 hello. Uh, How are you all doing? Yeah. What are you buying? Yeah. It's killing. Okay. okay. This is the part I do not know how to do. <laughs> 
If I take it home like this, I'll be giving my wife to Yeah, because you have to do it again. Yeah. So you're a romantic man. <laughs> are you what are you what is this? Roundabout. Okay. Wow. How much is it going for? This at this end. Let me put it down. I call this one art. Art. Yes. This roundabout. Roundabout. This cuckoo. Okay. This liver. Liver. Okay. Is this for a cow? Yes. Oh wow. Wow. Mm. They will not allow me to take this on a plane, though. Uh, I would have taken it with me. If you try it now, well, you dry it. Then I can get it. Really. I can take it on the plane if I fry it. Yes. Mm. Do you think it's a good idea? Oh, no, no, no. cook and fry I don't have a wife, though. I'm single. Uh -huh. oh, they are biting. Wow. It's a wow, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. What, what would happen? It can bite? It bite. Ah. It bite. Michael, don't do it. I want to be able to take you back in, to Ghana <laughs> in one piece. Don't do it. It's, it's too dangerous, isn't it? We, we brought the fish for you, baby. We, we brought the fish. Show, show her. This one, this one here. Do you know electric ale? Yes. Does it, it doesn't it look like electric ale? It looks like an ale. I'll exactly. grab one for you. Is this an but eel? she can pick it and it will not do anything. Pick it up. Show her, show her now. Show not her. touch. What are for you on you? Banana fall on you. Let's just see. Ah, ah, wait, you are spoiling it for us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just did the skill. Huh? <laughs> what did you say? Say. She said you're talking to me. And Is that how you talk to a woman? Yes, because I said I give it back, and he said no, we don't do that here. Oh, okay. If he buys me something, that's it. I don't give it. Don't oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So American men, they don't, they don't know that language. Hey, I'm not American. I'm Ghanaian. Okay, take it and fly. Not you. Take it and fly away from my front. He's a young man, so he doesn't know. I'm not even talking about him. But I, think I, but I think I told you guys. Ain't you offended? I'm, I'm not a kid though. Like, you know, so I'm, I'm like, alright, alright. Y'all need to clean your ears out. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, like, don't be acting like, like I'm some kid. I said you're a young man and you live in a crop. So I'm not even talking about you in that category of American men. This one is Korean. <laughs> Korean? What? <laughs> Ah, are you not scared? Oh, they are killing it. Hmm? They are killing it. How much is it? Yeah, one more. Ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians are so sweet. I love it. Very peaceful. Peaceful, Very nice. good heart. I mean, the market and they are showing us nothing but love out here. No, I don't love you. Oh, you must always be there. Ah, ah, Baba He is allergic to love. <laughs> have, you, have, you ever, have you ever fallen in love before? No, no, love has fallen in tell love. Him what with you tell me. If love has fallen in love with him. <laughs> no, no, love finds him, he will tell them to go away. Give him money and go away. <laughs> that, that's, that's more like somebody who have experienced a breaking heart. Tell us your breaking heart story. Heart. How was it like? What did, you, I don't have a heart. What did she do money to you? What did your ex do to you? What did you do? I don't have ex. <laughs> I don't have ex. Except you are talking about uh, money. 
Afro. Mali cannot be your ex now. Except you are talking about ABC, D, F, G, H, T, X. That's what you are talking about. Oh. That's the only ex I know. You've not been in a relationship. Mm. What? The relationship has been with me. Are you single? You are single. Me? Yeah, yeah. I'm single. I what does Obe Pami means? You want to kill me? You want to kill me? Obe Pami now? You sound like a lady. Yeah. Cola is full by the way, full full to the break. Yeah. You know, I bought shrimps. Yeah. You no, know, not shrimps. Um prawns. Crabs. Prawns. Mm -hmm. I bought crabs. I brought tilapia. Tilapia fish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. everything I bought, mm -hmm. I bought for twenty thousand naira. Yeah. With some change anyway. Yeah. If I was out if I was to buy it online, yeah. I wanted to buy them online, it would be around fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah. So because this is where those people come as well. To okay, buy, to buy before selling. And then sell I see. online. So you went to the source directly. I went directly to the source. I like that. That's smart man. How are you feeling, you YouTubers? Feeling great. It's total vibes. Bad on vibes on vibes. Nigeria vibes. We outside Nigeria, Lagos. You already know. This is nice, though. Yeah. I've been doing the You have a cinema here now. Stage. You're hungry? Uh, I've never seen you eat. Do you even eat? <laughs> Yo, bro, I eat, man. <laughs> What's your favorite food to eat? Actually, bread and beans. Bread and beans. Jesus. You want to stay in your stomach for a long time. So, you know, like five hours. Yeah, so this is his mom. This is from Lyon. There's a lot of stories. A lot of stories around But you do know he said he was inspired by... He was an activist as well. Remember from that? Nigeria's lioness of Lishabi. Okay. I wanted to say something, but I don't say it anymore. No. He said he was that, inspired that, by hip hop. That got to the hip life in Ghana. But I don't see Ghana here. Where is coming from? <laughs> what was that? Huh? It he was Ghana. inspired by hip life in Ghana. No, no, no. So now going to eat. You guys had high life. Yeah. So he learned. He learned Legends. about African, he, he studied music, mm -hmm. so he wanted to put together something for Africa. Mm -hmm. He learned from different African cultures. Mm -hmm. yes, I went to Ghana and learned yeah, hey now. He went around like that and then came up with, and then came up with mm -hmm. Afrobeats. I see. You understand? Good morning, another day here in Nigeria, Lagos. I'm going to get breakfast. I have a relatively Two, 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 two. Good morning. How are you? I have relatively a very long day today, but I'm excited um, at the same time. I'm about to catch some breakfast. You know what the time it is. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into
what's special about this place? Um, so this whole area right now is feeding of the development that is being driven by Dangote Refinery, um, um, the new like uh, seaport, um, the free trade zone, and a whole lot of development coming up mm -hmm. at the Ibejineki access. So that's what this whole place is feeding off of. So people moving here, all the commercial activities that you are seeing here, I mean, it's because people can get jobs in those places. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of a lot of companies, a lot of mm -hmm. manufacturing companies move to that that place. Okay. So it's brought a lot of attention. I mean, this is basically the new Lagos. Really? This is the new Lagos, yes. So this whole access, the rate at which this place is developing, very fast. It's very very fast, and then. The rate at which property here is appreciating mm -hmm. is crazy. Wow. Yes. So I mean, you literally have to keep checking prices to make sure you mm -hmm. press the things because property here the prices are changing very really fast. Is it because it's in demand or the? I mean, because you have a mass. I mean, people moving here in mass. You know. I so, see. I mean, of course, demand, demand, and, supply. demand and supply. You get it. Mm -hmm. What is, I mean, I think I was told that your GDP, the real estate GDP in Nigeria is over 2 trillion, 2 trillion? Yes, and um, that, that's even because it has slowed down. Mm -hmm. I mean, during the Jonathan era, real estate manufacturing, I mean, sorry, um, construction mm -hmm. was, major, was a major part of the GDP. Mm -hmm. So that was before COVID. Well, that was before the recession we had then and then hit by COVID again and everything. But then I know, you know, with time, mm -hmm. we'll dig away. We'll <laughs> come back up. Come back, exactly. Uh, construction is a major, real estate strong construction is a major part of mm -hmm. any any country's GDP. GDP. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to majorly drive the economy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get back there. I like that. I've been very excited since being here in Nigeria, Lagos. They are real estate now. Um, industry here is way way much advanced in so many different ways um, not in comparison to Ghana but I mean look I love it. I love how the Nigerians do it um, I don't know though but look what is like the it depends if somebody invests in their money realistically off plan in a let's say a four bedroom and suite apartment whatever that may be at a very good prime location how close is it realistic for the person to get his money back realistically Okay, so are you talking for investment purposes? Yeah, for investment right purposes. Using um, annual rentals, right? No, no, no. Sold. Okay, to say, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, guaranteed. I mean, you can, especially Lagos, mm -hmm. you can you can be sure that if you do a good job mm -hmm. and you build in a good, in a good um, area, mm -hmm. your, your profit should be in the region of 150 to 200 mm. percent. Okay. Wow. After completion. After completion. Wow. 200 percent is good. Meaning, like, if the project would take four, let's say two years. Yeah. Okay. I do off plan. I do, I buy it, and then when it's done, I sell it for 200 200 percent. I will still sometimes 300 percent. I mean, I'm saying conservatively. You yeah. understand? One, 150 to 200 percent. Can go as far as 300 percent definitely. There's no way you can make that money. Not even in the UK. <laughs> no way. No way. I, I know. I don't. I mean, we don't have proper structure, but it's also an advantage because in the UK, I'm not so sure, but they have so much structure that that would be very difficult to achieve. Exactly. But here in Nigeria, you can just literally bring your cash in here to see the system and just. Exactly. Buy a lot of off plans, prime locations, no, and sell out quickly. There are no restrictions on. I mean, basically, you just have to let the market do its job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, look, I don't think we are going to crash. The market is. is a, do you think it's a bubble? The real estate do is a bubble. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you have, when you have um, over two hundred million people. Mm -hmm. And then on a yearly basis, I mean, the housing deficit we have right now, it used to be 17 million housing deficits. Uh, I'm sure we're around 28 million right now, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because we have 
more uh, a youth population. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you check the population of people within the 18 to 21, I mean like probably 17 to 21 year old bracket, mm -hmm. bracket that, that percentage. Yeah. If you check that percentage, it's crazy. Like, really? Uh, yes. So now you have those people going now, maturing, getting jobs now, you understand? Finishing university, getting jobs and becoming independent, looking for mm -hmm. accommodation and all. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. you add that now yeah. to what you already have. It's going to double. So the the demand is basically in, inelastic. Mm. So you can't you can't break it. It's, it's because in 20 years, <laughs> the kids now will be working. You understand? They'll so, be needing their own apartments. So the demand is crazy. Mm. So it's not a bubble. It's 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 a real <laughs> yeah. It's a real problem that yeah. needs to be tackled. Yeah. So then there's an opportunity for like an investor. That's why like I I just don't get it. I mean, look, Ghana is amazing or everything. We have 38 million people, but investors come in and they just leave to Nigeria. I'm like, why would you know somebody leave to Nigeria? In my mind, I'm like, okay, there's a safety issue going on. Why would you leave, right? But me coming here and seeing the number of people in this country, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. So, well, I think it's a no-brainer. I'm just going to save my money and come back <laughs> and buy a property for myself. Where I really wish I can get a property is the Eco Atlantic City. <laughs> Somewhere in the Azuri Tower. That's big money, man. That's big money, $2.5 <laughs> million. That's big money. But I saw after seeing that 2.5 million um, naira equivalents, you know, four bedroom and suit, I'm like, I need to make money. I was motivated. It's it's kind of my type of house, like apartment that I would like to have. I don't know any reason why I shouldn't have something something like that. So going back home, you deserve to work, it. I deserve it. <laughs> I'm going to work harder, you know, come grab something for myself. But yeah, that it would appreciate. Imagine this Eco Atlantic finishing in the next 10, 10 years. Do you think that's going to still sell for 2.5? No. Yeah. No. Nah. Probably 200%. Yeah. 200%. In the, in the secondary market. Sure. Yeah, secondary market. Yeah, there are three yeah, things so you I said for an investor, there are three, three, three things you should basically focus on mm -hmm. when you're investing in real estate. Mm. You look at, I mean, if you want good cash flow, constant cash flow, you look at the annual rent mm -hmm. that the property will give you. You look at capital appreciation mm -hmm. and then you look at safety safety so okay. let's start from safety okay the, the annual rent is clear okay you get that everybody gets that mm -hmm. safety first of all safety of your investment mm -hmm. you understand okay is it somewhere where um you invest and then um first of all you look at the developer they're going to steal your money that's one yeah and then again um is the is the value of the property going to be eroded? I'm not sure, well, is is that place safe? Like, would there be war or something that would, yeah. you know? I mean, if you if you've been to war torn places, property yeah. are, property values are zero. It's zero. Um, I'm excited. I'm loving Nigeria. It's full of opportunities. Uh, I'm not. I didn't come to focus on the negativity. I came to focus on the positivity to see what opportunities are here for me. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. But unfortunately, my time is limited. I only have 10 days. I might not be able to go to mainland to explore. But if I do, I'll show you guys. Uh, but if I don't, I'll be back again for a month. So hopefully. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. If you have anything, any message for people watching, what would I be Investors. Okay, if I have any. Yeah. Any message for them? Yeah. Oh, bring your money to Nigeria. Bring your money to Nigeria. Bring your money to Nigeria.